Hello YouTube, welcome by a new computer vlog. In this video we gonna take a look on a computer I found in a dumpster. Let's first take a look on the front of the system. And the case itself is pretty yellowed. And the side cover was in the dumpster but was totally beaten up and uh, was bended so I didn't take it. Here we have a 32 speed CD-ROM player. A very nice Philips 2 speed uh, CD writer. A floppy drive, I hope it is a 1.2 megabyte version. Only the lever is broken off. A normal uh, 1.44 floppy drive. And here we have some kind of module with two buttons and a volume uh, knob. The case has just the basic uh, power button. Reset button and LEDs, no turbo button, no display and not even a batch here. On the back of this AT case we have the power supply, parallel, com ports, keyboard. We have VGA, sound, a modem, an unknown card and a network card. The hard drive is still on the system and the system is packed with expansion cards. And we have an Intel uh, VX chipset. So I think there will be a Pentium 1 under here. Let's see if the system still works. I saw a 3DFX video card. And the system has four, 64 megabytes of memory. A Pentium MMX on 200 megahertz, so very nice. And it's booting Windows 98. Let's connect the mouse to the system. And the mouse is also working. The system still boots up and I see a lot of games and I checked the documents map but there's not much inside. So I think this uh, system is used by a kid to play uh, games. So let's see which video card we have. And we have a 3DFX Voodoo Benchy PCI. Yes! And a Creative Sound Blaster Audio PCI 128. We have a Motorola modem. Let's see if the 5 and a quarter inch floppy drive still works. Do you want to format the disk in station B? Yes, I want that. And we have a 1.2 megabyte floppy drive. We formatted a 1.2 megabyte floppy and 400 kilobytes are bad sectors, so we have only 800 kilobytes left. But it's great that the floppy drive still works. With the missing cover and here a bend in the chassis, it's not worth keeping this case, so I can to part out the system. An idiot built this system because this card is totally bent and is touching the modem, so they really pushed in this card. But if they just moved the cards here to the bottom, there was enough room for it. Let's see what parts we have. Here we have the cables and the system came with three Molex splitters and they are really handy in the more complex builds like the year 2000 build. We have a Western Digital Caviar 8.4 GB and a Philips double speed CD writer. 
And the same model I used in the 1998 Gaming Dream build. Here we have an LG 32 speed CD-ROM player. Here we have a no name 1.44 megabyte floppy drive. And a Xenon 1.2 megabyte floppy drive. Here we have the Sound Blaster PCI 128. And the Motorola modem. 10 megabit ESA network card. Here we have the Fudu Benchy PCI 60 megabyte. So there's a very awesome find in this system. This is the third dumpster system which came with a 3DFX Voodoo card. Also we have a PC speaker. The power supply is a 200 watt power supply and it only comes with 3 Molex and 1 floppy connector. So that's why all the splitters were included. Here we have the strange card with the front unit and I think it's some kind of an amplifier. It's an ICL audio amp. And here you have a Molex to power it and you can fit it in an ISA slot or I think in a PCI slot. Here you have the speaker outputs and I think these are the inputs. I never seen one before. It's always uh, interesting to find uh, cards like this in systems because you don't see them a lot. Here we have the motherboard. It's a Biostar MB8500 TVG. With an Intel VX chipset and the CPU is a Pentium 200 MMX. The si system has 64 MB of memory installed in two sticks of 32 MB, both PC100. We have four ISA slots, four PCI slots, so that's a nice configuration. And also four 72 pin SIM slots. The cache is already on board. The battery is a CR2032. So that's uh, easy to replace and the best battery for on a motherboard. Here we have the parallel port, two COM ports, two IDE channels and the floppy connector. We have an AT keyboard and we can use a PS2 mouse on this uh, motherboard. I really like this motherboard because uh, you have enough room uh, behind the ISA slots and PCI slots for long cards. Enough uh, options for the memory. But there's already the maximum memory that the board can cache installed, 64 megabyte. That's a limit of the VX chipset. And it's really nice that it comes with a PS2 port for the mouse. But finding an AT case with room to use the PS2 uh, port here is pretty hard. You don't see many AT cases with the options for the PS2 port here. Let's see what parts I gonna keep from this uh, dumpster computer. I think I'm gonna keep most of the parts so I can better show what I'm not gonna keep. What I'm not gonna keep is the modem and I'm not gonna keep the CD drive because it's way too yellow and I have more than enough CD drives already. I also not gonna keep this amplifier card because it doesn't fit in my collection but I don't gonna throw this away but I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine. So here we have all the parts I'm gonna keep. And the three most interesting parts for me are the Voodoo Benchy PCI, the motherboard combination with CPU and the memory, and the Philips Double Speed CD Writer. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment, join Retro Machines on Facebook, and you can support me on Patreon. See you next time.